Hello. You are humbly welcome to Janiva's Home Tuition. Today, our subject to be discussed is Integrated Science, JHS. In today's lesson, we are going to discuss on the topic pests and parasites. I could see how you are smiling since the topic is an interesting topic. To begin with, what is a pest? A pest is any organism that causes damage to crops. Examples of crop pests are rodents, insects, bears, the nematodes. These are the four groups of crop pests, and each of them has examples under them. So, without wasting my time, let's look at the rodents. Examples of rodents are rats, grass cutters, mice, and squirrels. When we take the insects, examples of insects are the weevil. Cockroaches, a cockroach, caterpillar, aphids, millibugs, so on and so forth. When we take the bears, we have weaver beds, we have the sparrows, the doves, the parrots, etc. For the nematodes, there are only two. We have the male nematodes and also the female nematodes. So in a nutshell, Pest is any organism that causes damage to crops or organisms that destroy crops. Let's look at the types of crop pests. <laughs> there are two types of crop pests and these are the field pests and also the storage pests. What are the field pests? If not nothing at all, at least the field there should give you a clue. It tells you that this type of pests are mostly seen on a field. And that's where they destroy the crops. Meaning when the crops are not harvested and then you're on a field, this is the time you see this pest. So the four groups, most of the time we'll see these four groups on the field. And they are examples of this field pest. If not nothing at all, we'll see the rodents there. That's the rats, the grass cutter, the squirrels. We also find the bears to as well, the river bears, the parrots, by flying and also feeding on them and destroying the scrubs. Insects, we also find them too on the field. Nothing at all, the nematodes are found in the soil. They also destroy the crops as well. Now let's go to the storage pest. It tells you that this time around, when the crops are being harvested and stored in the storage rooms or buildings, this is the time you also see this pest. So, therefore, the insects will be the common ones. Let's take note of that. And then the rodents will also come. If there's any space around, they try their best to pass through these pieces and also feed on this crops so if not nothing at all we are done with pests the next thing i will be talking about are parasites remember i told you that pest and parasite when we just take the word straight for you think it's one word but it stands for two different things so we are done with pests let's look at parasites a parasite is an organism meaning animal or plant that lives on or in another organism called host for food and causing harm to it. Let's look at the types of parasites. One, we have the ectoparasites, that's the outside, and the endoparasites, that's inside. What do they mean? 
ectoparasite are parasite that lives outside the body of their host or of the other organism. The endoparasites, they are parasites or type of parasite that live inside the body of their host or organism. We have a table or a chat over here. It talks about animal parasites, type of the parasite, and their host. So let's look at the chat once again. Names of parasite, type of parasite, the host there, and also the disease that they cause. So first one, we have the plasmodium. The type of parasite is endoparasite, meaning inside the body of their host. What's the host? That's human beings. What do these parasites or the parasite plasmodium causes? That's malaria. So anytime you are sorry for malaria, get to know that the parasite plasmodium is what is found in your body causing you to have the disease called malaria. The second one is trypanosoma. as a parasite. Type of parasite, we have endoparasite. The host is human being. Disease that cause or could the cause is called trypanosomiasis. The next name is what we call tapeworm. It's a parasite. That one also is found in the intestines. So it's therefore known as endoparasite. Host are human beings, goats, dog. Disease is also what we call nutritional deficiency or tiniasis. The next one is the tick. The tick is a parasite. The type of parasite is what we call ectoparasite. The host is dog and then cattle. Disease that this tick causes is what we call anemia. So you realize that the table there talks about so many parasites, type of the parasite, their host, and also the disease that they cause. These are the animal parasites. Now, we also have plant parasites. Yes. The first one is what we call the mistletoe, and then the other one is what we call the doda. When you see this plants they are very beautiful nice green yellowish in color but my brother my sister they are very harmful they are always seen on the plant for survival for food and for shelter don't just look at how beautiful they are but they always cause harm they are parasites now <clears throat> Let's look at the difference between a pest and a parasite. One, for pests, mostly they are animals, and it's true. That's what we're talking about. We said the four groups of pests. The rodents, the nematodes, the bears, and the insects. But for the parasites, they are plants and animals. Examples of the plant parasite, we mentioned Miss Turtle and the Duda. The animal parasites, we mentioned Trypanosoma. Plasmodium, the tick, so on and so forth. <clears throat> Let's go to that table. The second point. Pests depend on hosts for only food. Mm, the rodents, the insects, they will come mainly for food. But parasites, they depend on the host for food, shelter, and also protection as well. Let's go to the third one. The third one causes damage to plants. And then a parasite causes damage to plants and animals, which is very sad. The fourth one, we said the pests are mostly vectors of diseases, which means organisms that transmit disease from one organism to another. But for parasites, they are not vectors of diseases. So even though nothing at all, we have four differences between a pest and what and a parasite. Let's go how we can control pests and parasites. 
to prevent diseases since all the organisms there are not uh, useful but rather harmful to us how can we control them when we say we have the cultural method so we have the physical method three we have the chemical method four the biological method and the fifth one we have integrated pest management <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen let's summarize what we've studied today we've got to know that a pest is any organism that causes damage to crops meaning organisms that destroy crops are always called or are termed as pests pests are mainly animals we have four groups of this pest so you have the rodents the insects the nematodes and also the bears we also got to know that we have two types of pests one we have the storage pest and also the field pest and we said the field pests are pests that destroy crops on the field or on the farmland examples are the rodents the bears the nematodes and the insects that's the uh, all the four groups of pests in the storage pest, we said these are pests that destroy crops in storage rooms. We have the rodents, we have the insects. To be precise, these are the pests that always destroy storage pests or storage crops. We also went on to say that we can at all time control pests. We have the cultural method, the biological method, so on and so forth. We can control pests. Now, effect of pests on crops. One, it leads to low quantity and quality of crops produce for the farmer two it leads to crop yield three it leads to stunted growth and development four there is post harvest lost farmer will not be able to gain the right quantity of crops that he or she needs and therefore needs to at least harvest the crops before they are well matured or ripened. We also went on to get to know what a parasite is. We said a parasite is any organism, meaning a plant or animal, that lives on or in another organism called a host for food shelter and survival so at all time when an organism lives in or on another organism that organism is what we call the parasite the one that it is staying on or in is what we call the host now examples of parasites are plasmodium Trypanosoma, Onchocerca vulvulus, Tick, Liver Fluke, Laos, etc. We have two types of parasites. We have endoparasites and ectoparasites. Endoparasites are parasites that live inside the body of the host. Ectoparasites are parasites that live on the body of the host. So one example of the endoparasite, we have the tapeworm, plasmodium, trypanosoma. And then the ectoparasite, we have the tick, the flea, the labs. 
we also got to know that we have animal parasites and we also have the plant parasites. All what I mentioned are the animal parasites. There's the plasmodium, the tapeworm, the tick, the louse, so on and so forth. Plant parasites are only two. That's the doda and also the mixed turtle. And for them, mostly they attack plants. We can also control parasites by using the same method that we use for the pest. We have the biological method, the cultural method, integrated pest management, chemical method, etc. Ladies and gentlemen, we can try our hands on the questions that we have over the assignments. Try them and send them through uh, my email, janaevans at gmail.com. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.